unscripted video on the CC, I guess that's how you'd say it, CC, 3 8 inch electric impact wrench. This is actually a WH450. They put it in a 500 box, I'm not sure why. I don't even know what the 500 is. Uh, anyway, it's brushless motor, it just, it just showed up. Uh, these look to be the same specs though, as what uh, Amazon, what it said on Amazon. Um, so let me take you through this tool a little bit. I'll just tell you what I know. I'm still reading the uh, owner's manual. Like, <laughs> I think that's what you want to do. Anyway, uh, the nice thing I saw on this was about the guarantee and how to contact them right on the box, which I thought was kind of neat. Uh, is a three-year warranty, and it is obviously made in China. And, uh, all right, so let's get into it. Charger is a non-fanned charger, just real basic, lightweight charger. Uh, nothing to write home about, but, you know, it should do the trick. It's well-vented, and it's 110 volts. Okay, so now here's the CC uh, 3 eighths hog ring uh, impact wrench. It's bushless, blushless, flushless. So it's a flushless motor. Um, all metal in the front. Uh, the hog ring is a little tight to get the sockets on, but I actually like it that way. Uh, it'll definitely wear in over time. Um, but uh, it is tight to get on, but they do go on. Um, it's got some pretty cool stuff here. Nowhere on it does it say the model number. This is all it says, which is a little discerning. I don't know how they can leave something like that out. Um, it's, um, you know, got that blown rubbery kind of feel to it. It feels good. It, it's not jittery or junky feeling at all. It's definitely looks like quality. And, uh, all right. Remember laughing from the 60s? Suck it to me, suck it to me, suck it to me. All right. Sorry. Somebody had to say it. All right. Nobody had to say it. All right. Let's see. People were complaining. The complaint this one had was that it was hard to get sockets on because they didn't make this right. And uh, I can't do it with one hand. So I'm going to... I'll be back in a second. Okay, so here it is with the battery on. And so it has it has a low speed and a high speed. And when you have the low speed, you have five different levels of the trigger pull. And when you go to the high speed, it's got six. Um, so it's not a nice ramp up. It's more like. And uh, it's um, very well made. Then it has a feature when you put it in reverse. Um, it has the, uh, I forget what they call that. But the feature is so that it won't spin off the lug nuts and send them flying. And then to get that out of there, you can take that off. And now you have full reverse. It does that automatically when you put it in reverse. Now we're in forward, and this is the low speed. That's pretty much it. That's everything. Oh, I know the back of the battery has a tester. I don't know if that that fourth LED is just not lit well, or the LED itself is not centered well. I, I can't tell. Anyway, uh, it seems it came fully charged from the factory. Okay, we're learning a little bit more about the CCWH450. And one of the things I just learned, and I didn't even read it in the owner's manual, is that it remembers what mode you were in when you were last in reverse. Meaning, if you're in forward, no matter where you are, if you're on high speed or low speed and you put it in reverse, it remembers that you were in auto brake mode. 
So if you take it out of auto brake mode, right, and you put it into forward again, now go in reverse, it goes not into auto brake mode, which is interesting. So it's actually pretty cool. So there's auto brake mode. Now we go into reverse, I mean into forward. Now go back into reverse, auto brake mode. So that's kind of neat. Okay, so that's the CC uh, WH450 impact wrench. I was considering the Harbor Freight tool uh, version of that in a driver, impact driver, and it dawned on me that I'm gonna be using this mostly for automotive. That's why I got a small one. And uh, if you use a driver in order to make it handle sockets, you have to get an adapter, which is gonna make length to it. So knowing this, I've decided that um, a driver is for around the house. You know, if you're gonna use your impact wrench around the house on projects like making a deck or something like that, fine, where you don't need to get into tight spaces. But if you're going to work on the car, you need to have an impact wrench so you can put the sockets right on and keep the thing as short as possible. And if you want to turn it into a driver, there are adapters on Amazon, which I've already ordered, so I can use it as a driver. And I think that's the way to go, but that's just me. And of course, we didn't talk about the light. Um, it says when you first turn, well, the way you turn the unit on is it automatically shuts off, which is what it's about to do. Uh, as soon as that light goes up. Now, the unit is off. It says that you can hit the trigger just enough to make the light come on. And now you can tell it what you want it to do in whatever mode you want it to do. You don't have to necessarily run the uh, motor. You can just hit the, the trigger just far enough to get the light to come on. That means it the unit is on. Get a little bit more charging on the battery in that... that uh, LED got a little bit brighter. They they call the LEDs back here real time, so I think they start to fade out as they I don't mean when you shut it off like that. I mean as the battery starts to die from usage, it lighten it it lightens the first one, then it lightens the second one, and then it lightens the third one until these are off and then that's the only one going. Okay, let's see if this is my tool. I think it is. Yes, it is. Okay, CC. I'm going to do this one hand. So it was supposed to be a WH450, but this is a 500. I don't know what that is. Let's see what this is. This is WH450. The box says WH550. Made in China? I wonder where that is. Oh. Oh, let's see what we got here. Wow. Oh, all right, well, let me get to it.